I'm, I'm very glad to be here. I'm, uh, I'm pretty stressed out. I have a 10-year-old son, and already at age 10, we've had multiple discussions on masturbation etiquette <laughs> at 10 years old. I was like, please do not knock on mom's door when she's masturbating. <laughs> That's my time. Get your own apple juice. I'm working on my own juice box. I... <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, I can't believe my son is 10 years old. I remember when he was so tiny, he fit on the front steps of a nearby church. <laughs> he followed me. Um, I am a single, uh, single parent, and uh, I don't date much. Uh, when I do date, I try to have sex on the first date. <laughs> Uh, that's not even a joke. I just like to get the word out when there's a crowd and <laughs> TV cameras. Spread this clip around, please. Uh, it's not because I'm promiscuous. It's because I'm efficient. I, I have to be. <laughs> My babysitter costs sixteen fifty an hour. I can't afford to go on dates that don't end in penetration. It is fiscally irresponsible. <laughs> One time I was on a five-hour date, and at the end of the date, the guy tried to kiss me goodnight. And I was like, oh, no, you don't. You either take off your pants and join me in my garage, or you give me $82.50 in cash. <laughs> he did both. <laughs> nice guy. Um, I, I'm assuming there's some single parents here tonight. A couple? Yeah? Thanks for, thanks for coming out here. I appreciate it. Uh, the rest of you guys, uh, statistically, many of you will be single parents. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know you're in a great relationship now, but I have bad news for you. Love dies and children live. <laughs> yes, I... <laughs> I hope that joke saved a life tonight. I really do. <laughs> My son's father is Mexican. And uh, thank you, yes. Uh, I was going to name my son Pablo, but then one of my white friends goes, wait a minute, your son already has a Hispanic last name. Maybe his first name should be something more common, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think I know what she meant because I named my son Mohammed. <laughs> yes, it's, it's the most common name in the world. <laughs> Mohammed Martinez, that's my son. He's already been accepted into nine universities. <laughs> and escorted off of 12 airplanes. <laughs> it's not easy for that guy. My son is uh, much darker complected than I am, and he's very obsessed with race right now and ethnicity. He goes, Mom, am I white or am I Mexican? And I was like, honey, I don't know how to answer that question. Let's ask a cop. <laughs> They're the experts. And, uh, we did, and it turns out my son is Mexican. So. <laughs> Hispanic male, age 9 to 11, back up, I need backup. <laughs> That's exact words. I, uh, I would like my son to be fluent in Spanish. Um, that is muy importante to me. Don't be intimidated. Uh, so I make him take a lot of Spanish classes. I also do this thing where I don't let my son speak any English on Sundays. Um, it's a game that I invented, and I call it No English Domingo. <laughs> no English on Sundays. And uh, how it works is every Sunday, I put my son in a different life-threatening situation, <laughs> and I make him talk his way out of it in Spanish. Because I believe you can't be fluent in a language until you can plead for your life in that language. <laughs> anyway, a couple of domingos ago, we were on a walk. And we walked by a swimming pool. And my son doesn't know how to swim. So I, don't get ahead of me. I, I pushed him in the pool. I said, let's see what you got, Mohammed. Impress mom, right? And he immediately defaulted to English. He started yelling, help. I know English, Domingo. As you can imagine, I was livid. I said, I would love to help you. Dígame en español. So then my son goes underwater to think. Uh, it's so quiet under there. If you ever have a chance, give it a shot. And then he just shimmies out like a dolphin and he goes, Are you dar? 
Now, ayudar, if you speak Spanish, you know, it is a Spanish word, but it means to help. <laughs> to help. That's the infinitive. That's unacceptable. <laughs> Guys, when you're drowning in English, do you yell, to help? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So that's not how you drown in Spanish. I said, mijo, you conjugate that verb properly. <laughs> or you're gonna die. And guess what, he did it. He goes, ayúdame, puta. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a Mother's Day. <laughs>